All right, all right, all right. The sun is shining, but not so bright. Sun is like my shades this evening. It's almost like night. You know, um, I had this very great experience today. This have, late afternoon, I went outside to take care of some things. And lo and behold, I came upon this site, this very magnificent site. It was the, I could not believe my eyes. You know, it was um, the sun with this, this color. That was the color of the sun when I went out this evening. Not the background. The background is as a result of the um, what I had to do, you know, the camera tricks that we had to do to um, get it, to show you the real color of what was happening. And sometimes because of the, um, when, the when the thing is red like that, um, then you will... Um, you will get the, the background is dark. If I wear white clothes, that's why sometimes I try to avoid using white for my, when I do the program, because it tends to blind the camera lens and then you'll get a darkened color. So the background is not, wasn't so dark. It was light enough, but hazy because as we all know about this thing that this, you want to say phenomenon, but the carelessness, it's more like the carelessness of man that brought this phenomenal looking thing, this where the sun changed. It's as the scientists will explain or those who know about light is what they call refraction from the particles in the atmosphere that converted it into, in, into uh, what we can, you know, what we see as red. And uh, I'm trying to do a quick share as I do this, but um, I'm going to do something else just to move to the next level. I'm going to play a clip, uh, which will give me a chance. Don't forget, at this moment, I'm going to ask everyone who has joined or who will join to please share, like, subscribe, subscribe, like. And if you wish, it would be nice. Comment because it will help the channel is growing. And as I grow each day, it becomes stronger. It becomes easier for me to get, get out the invitations. I won't have to go through so many steps. So I'm gonna ask you as you come across it, please share, subscribe and like, and comment if you feel like. All right, I'm just gonna play this other clip. Give me a chance to get things going. All right, I'll be right back. Move. Lisa Hanna has publicly declared her support for the recent salary increase afforded to parliamentarians. This despite the leader of the People's National Party, Mark Golding, calling for the increase to be rolled back. Hanna, who has previously called for an increased salary for members of parliament, says they were being paid at a rate less than the minimum wage in the United States. As Natalia Clark reports, she questions how people deem the increase excessive when many other sector leaders are being paid significantly more. In a surprising departure from her party stance, Lisa Hanna, the four-term member of parliament for Southeast St. Anne, has defended the recently granted salary increase for politicians and members of the political directorate, while other politicians in the People's National Party, PNP, demand a rollback. In her Jamaica Observer column, Hannah declares you get what you pay for, as she reasons the salary increase is not excessive. She further explains the increased salary for the Prime Minister represents only 0.0061% of the total salary budget, 0.1518% for members of parliament, and 0.0804% for cabinet ministers. Hannah, having expressed empathy for those who oppose the increase, further notes, it's illogical for the leader of the country to earn only 9 million Jamaican dollars annually when some lawyers and doctors earn over 120 million. She continues, striking a comparison with other leaders in the public sector, among them heads of the National Housing Trust, the Port Authority, and Hart NSTA Trust, who report to the Prime Minister. She notes they all earn significantly higher salaries of 31 million. 30.9 million and 17.6 million respectively. Hannah, 
who has expressed her intentions to leave representational politics by the next general election, says the government has had the existing pay scale for over 37 years. She reasons, if the suggestion is to recall the pay increase for politicians, then the same will have to be done for all government workers of about 100,000. Standing firm in her position, Hannah explains, Rolling back the salary increase would result in an MP's salary being comparable to that of a high school principal, except the principal would also be eligible for allowances and set work hours, a luxury not afforded to politicians. She surmises, until the leaders in Jamaica are paid sufficiently, there will be no actual development and no increase in the per capita income of Jamaicans. Under the recent national compensation overhaul, other sectors also received a significant salary surge. Doctors received over 190% increase. Graduate teachers increased by 122% and nurses received a 180% increase. Natalia Clark, CVM Live. All right. Um, why? Yeah, thank you. All right. I remove my my sunglasses because for those of you who might know I have a son who is a doctor and you know he knows that I had an accident you know those of you who saw him with a big patch across my face not so long ago a couple of weeks back did have an accident and he was one of my consulting um physicians who helped me to work it through so that I, I can get back halfway decent amount of my face looking okay um without any major um involvement in hospitals and that type of thing so he saw me with the shades and i think he was he was just calling me but i'm fine i just want to let him know i'm fine that was just um what i got theatrics putting on my sunglasses because of the fact that i was out looking in the sun today um but the thing about the sun today it didn't create a problem you know sometimes if you look in the sun um it can blind you know like make your eyes get dark when you move it away it could burn the, the lens of your eyes too so you shouldn't do that but I didn't have to put on any sunglasses because the, the haze from the, what the smoke coming from all the way up in Canada, those of who know me, you will know that I am operate somewhere in New York and maybe Florida and elsewhere, even Georgia sometimes. So, um, so that is how the sun looked today. When I stepped out this evening and I saw it, I saw it when it was getting ready to go down. So I was, I just reached for my camera fast and, you know, I was here taking it. It was giving me the wrong color, call up on a buddy of mine down the street who was a photographer, big time photographer. He came up and he helped me and we made the adjustments and we got it. You know, that's how the sun itself looked. In the background of that picture, I put it back again as I talked through some of this. In the background, the dark color is just because of the effects of this light on the camera a lot of light was um kind of let in i think and when you have that it darkens it gives you a, a it's almost like a silhouette it becomes um but the the thing with this the color we were able to capture the color red in most cases it would have been a you know inverted type of thing but we were able to do it the other way and we get the the black background with the sun some people i noticed using a different type of camera i think it's mainly like the um what they call them, the Apple phones, they show a different background, show an orangish kind of background. This one was, we got it with black and background, and it's more dramatic, I think. Anyway, so that is what this is all about. When you see me, somebody just asked me, what is this all about? That was how the sun looked today. Before I go any further, I'm going to ask you again, please to subscribe, like, share, and Comment if you wish, you know, it's appreciated. Any comment is appreciated, good, bad, or indifferent. So today we are on a hot button topic. We're going to touch the golden calf today because to some people, Lisa Hannah is special. Let me just put it that way. She's very special. But for some strange reason, you know, as you know, Lisa decided to step away from representational politics. I'm one of them who think, you know, thought it was a good move that she did it to separate herself from what we consider to be the losers, what we consider to be traitors, 
once once the ones we consider to be backstabbers, liars, cheats, and she separated herself from them. My disappointment in that move was that I would have done it a little differently. And it's not too late for her to do it. I the love that people have for Lisa Hanna, I would have come out, go against the grain the way I would have gone against the grain would have been to challenge for the position because she could easily topple this um, imposter. I call it this, this, this massa marked character. I call him an imposter because he's a somebody, I don't want to go too deep into him yet, but he's somebody who's just a misfit. And people like that, you see them as, a, uh, as, a, as, as imposters. You're put in a position that you're not qualified for, you're not fit for, you're not given any, you know, any kind of real support, real juice, real energy, not, you know, it's not coming from you. And so, um, you know, so the person is an imposter. The person comes over a bit quite clownish in his actions. It's like somebody who would assume a, a, a character in a movie which tells you that this person is not the president. Somebody picked him up off the street, put him in the president's position, and he's supposed to be supposed to act like the president. But he goes out there, says one of you know somebody what we call from the hood, or uh, one of my people from the hood, and you know they have a, some different attitudes, and and not just a hood person, but you know them hustler hood hustlers. You you can tell you put him in there as a president. People are gonna see him from early that this this is just a hood hustler. What is he doing there? You know, some people even even though this person Barack Obama is a gentleman, is a polished man, is a refined human being, is a highly educated people. But some people just saw him that way. No matter how well behaved, no matter how well he carried himself, some people just saw him as that from the hood, and and they would call him names and do all kinds of crazy things. All right, so. Pretty much, this is how I see uh, Massamark. He's a misfit. You want to think he's somebody who come out comes out in a in a beige hat with a, with a beige suit with suspenders, and you know what that represents? You know, represent from some people from another time, and 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 so this is how it is. Now, Lisa, people looked at her and they see somebody with great potential. They see somebody who was given a lot to the Jamaican society. From a child, she was there. She she used to be on TV as a child, and, and she used to come in a little program to call Enter the Dojo, something like that. You know, she was there. And then if she evolved into this beauty queen, she won the Miss, what is it, Miss World, I think, or Miss Universe, whichever one of them, one of them beauty queen contests. She's still highly regarded in the circles of that type of business. And, um, and people in Jamaica adore her. And, and, you know, they were like hoping that she would have won, but some people played some dirty tricks and they tricked her out of it. And she just, I don't know, she, she, she started to play this role of, I wanna go back to a word, a pizza. She started to play this a pizza role um, to, to appease the situation, you don't want to rock any boat. So she's just going to accept her position to say, this is what it is. And I'm going to sit here. And then the people in her constituency, they just were giving her a hard time. Somehow she doesn't have maybe the, the kind of sting to sting some of them and to let them crawl away, run away. So they stuck around and just harassed her. This is a constituency, Southeast St. Anne. Cessa, as she calls it. Cessa, maybe it's not her originated the, the thing, but I know she popularized it. Cessa is one of them constituents, no matter who you put down there, people have had to run because there are some strange people. And I would love to go in that constituency myself one day to feel them out and to say, really, what is it about them? Why so many, and especially women, women go in there and they, and they chase them out. The men seem to have done well in there and stayed around in there. Um, because some of the early politicians, I think it might be Seymour Mullins, I could be wrong on it, but, but those guys were there for a long time. So maybe it's a, you know, a, a male chauvinist, maybe it's just people the way people see, they might be more 
of a patriarchal you know outlook they want they prefer to say a male there we don't know but i'd love to go do my own digging and and research to find out what it is but let's get back to the to the to the main point the main point is there is this that lisa the golden calf which a lot of people it's it's she has become almost like uh it's a hero worshiping it's uh you know this thing i've seen a person i've seen them as being so special so um fitting that they that they that they you know people just give their lives for it we saw it with people like um Portia simpson miller um we see it with Michael Manley, you know, this hero worshiping type of thing. And people have come to that point where they're seeing her as this special person and they just, no matter what. But here comes this big surprise to me, what I call she threw an explosive in the camp of the PNP because the PNP with this whole question of the salary, the huge, this humongous salary increase in a time when the country is struggling, still struggling, we have not discovered any grand amount of oil. We have not discovered any great amount of gold. We, the bauxite is not doing great. We're not doing good with bananas anymore. We're not doing good with citrus anymore. We're not doing good with all the stuff that we used to do. We used to uh, export a lot of you know bananas and even yams and those things. We used to, we used to export them. Um, there are things that we could be doing better with, but because people are not being wise with it we have aki which has a big market in the united states but people prefer to sell one can of aki for 12 dollars instead of send sell, sell a hundred and and, and you probably get five dollars you probably would you know oh my math is right here but they could do a lower price you know some people say quick nickels are better than slow dollars they prefer the slow dollars and the quick nickels and so they 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 messed up the, the Aki market because it's just too expensive to buy just a little can of Aki for, for ten and twelve dollars US dollars. And you know, what that is multiplied in your money, that's like a well, thousand or whatever the whole bag of money comes out to. And um one thousand six hundred, I think it, it would be in Jamaican money. You're not gonna pay like anything like that in Jamaica for Aki's. And that's what they're asking us out here to pay. So all that market is being stymied, being killed off because people are just too, to me, greedy. All right, so um, so now, so Lisa came out after Mark, Master Mark made a mess of his, a hash of his, his presentation. He made a hash of it by coming out and saying that, that was like almost a week after he came out and say, oh, I'm just gonna take 20% of what I was getting, you know, and leave it. But, he was up by the, by brother Nancy, the Jamaican brother of Nancy, the Jamaican version, not the African version of Nancy. This one, the Jamaican one, brother of Nancy, with them call bro, bro, whatever, um, bro G, bro this, bro something, and he came out and said, you know what? I'm not going to take any of this money. I'm just going to not take it. So if Master Mark who say he will take 20% based on what he was earning before, he's going to end up earning more than the prime minister and that will not stand. It's all a big old trick. They think they can confuse us with this trickery. And we see where people are up in arms over it. I mean, it's not one of them things that they will see and think is that a nine-day talk. It has, nowadays, things are now no longer nine-day talk in Jamaica because we have social media to keep the fire burning. And so... The fire is still blazing. I think maybe, maybe somebody advised Lisa to, to come out with this pronouncement that she made, this, this um, explosive. Yeah, I think it's more than a Molotov, um, but the explosive that she threw and dropped in the camp, I don't think it has done well any good for the, for the PNP at this point because it is showing the PNP in disarray, in a fractured way, and... I don't think a lot of people are happy. They were never happy with her before. They were not happy with her before. And I think, you know, a bunch of them in there, they were not happy with her before. Now it's going to be, I think it's worse now that she has done this. But guess what? I, I'm not so sure it played well for her either. You know what I'm saying? Some things you do 
And when you 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 had uh, let me just take a picture of Miss Lady up here. This is Miss Lisa up there. She you know dropped this bomb, this explosive, and it is not playing well. So there's a gentleman who he, he has a style when he is doing sports, and he calls himself Maverick. So the Maverick came out this morning. Every now and again, he will pick up on a regular news type of story, and he does his thing with it. I'm giving him his full credit on it because I, I just believe it was really gutsy of him, really, really, you know, um, what you were saying now, brave of him. To, to have come out the way he came out and to tackle Lisa Anna. And with, with that, I've tried to play as much of whatever he presented. And here we go, the first clip from the Maverick. The opposition member of parliament, Lisa Anna, should come out with what she thinks is a stout defense of the big salary increase for member of parliament and government ministers, etc. We are talking about an elaborate defense, you know. Not even a defense lawyer could have tried to defend the salary increase like all these have around it. It long, so we kind of just jot down some pointers, or, you know, mentally jot down some pointers. You know what she says, so we can recount it and summarize it, basically. All right, first of all, she started and she was making one. She, she's a member of parliament from 2007. And then you now she went on to, she, she talked about fair salary, you know, and tried to break down fair monthly salary, say, after all deductions, including the money when she paid her party and all of them something, she ended up with less than three hundred thousand dollar a month. That's a fair story. And then she went on to speak about the the percentage of the budget that this increase would have, would have require. You know, pointing out it's really a minuscule percent of the budget and blah blah blah. And then she went into what I think was her substantive defense of the whole thing. You know, her thing is that. Other leaders you know, this, you know, the private and public sector are getting significantly more money than the government ruling class and, 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 the, and the political class. See, she pointed to some of them in, a, in, a, the, in a, the government sector. She pointed to the CEO of the, the NHT, the National Housing Trust, and, and she named some other entities. She also pointed out doctors and lawyers, top doctors and lawyers, which is her earned hundreds of millions of dollars a year. She went again, she talked about specifically the Barbados Prime Minister earning what was up like $16 million a year and Barbados is a little tops, a country compared to Jamaica. Population 200,000, blah, blah, blah. Them, and them are, are, are argument that them. But people, Lisa, just as Nigel and Andrew did initially. Let me say Andrew, me attack, Goji. Just as they tried to do and failed miserably to do, their defense of the salary increase is feeble, insulting, aggressive, and where's we can use we say it again? Disrespectful of the Jamaican people and our intelligence. Because none of them, including Lisa with this latest trip now, Lisa is not able to posit any answer to the question of is this value for money. The money we're not given to sell is are the people of Jamaica getting value for that money. You know why they can't answer that? Because the answer for that is emphatically no. And they're so caught up in their own self-importance that they don't realize, you know. So the pushback when they might get from Jamaicans from every walk of life on that issue here is because Jamaica knows that politicians have been a failure to this country here. We do not give me no value for the money when I pay on yourself. That is why I get pushed back, you know. And we don't know if them in them bubble and they don't understand why they might get the pushback. I don't know them just arrogant with it, so they might give themselves it. Regardless, it's one of the two things, you know. It's either them daft to the facts that people don't rate them. I don't rate them. In fact, there's nothing to rate about the political class that you make. All them do is parade on the box of the Jamaican people from, the, from independence in you know, you know. Since I got this program going, and I don't know, some magicians are out there, some gremlins are out there, and I tell you, some of these people, um, 
uh, let me just answer this call quickly. I was just want to let you know that the, the 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 thing I reconnected, I restarted the program, and it's now on again. So I think the people let me, you'll listen to me, and then I'll get back to you later on. All right, thank you. All right, so so what happened just now? It appears that you know people out in Jamaica, as usual, you know, they have um their friends and the friends who know what to do to jack up a program like mine, it's not it's not hard, you know. They can send, you know, some of those using this term recently, the algorithm, they can send out their algorithms and to jack up a program like mine. It's not the hardest thing to do. They just have to know how to find you. They have friends who are in the technology industry and they know how to find the site because once I am out there, you know, they know how to do it. And it's not the hardest thing. So they got to the program. So for those, I might have seen a couple of people have joined back already. For those who have joined back, we will um, continue this broadcast because if they, somebody thought they were, you know, slick and they could shut the program down. And I, um, what they've done, let me see here with my, if I can get back some of these programs up. What I wanna do, I'm just gonna replay, I don't know for those who didn't join before, let me just explain, we, we started the program on time, but something happened where the program was jacked up, it was jammed up, it was hijacked, um, it was hacked into, and they stopped it from, from um, the kill the connection or the connectivity. And so I've had to restart the program because it wouldn't, it just, it was just saying it is connecting and that's not doing anybody any good. I wasn't gonna sit around for half an hour waiting for it to reconnect. So I've learned now when things like this happen, kill a program and come again. If they do it again, I'll do it again until I get it to work. But if they think they wanna waste time and they, they think I'm gonna say, what happened, all they gonna do with me now is just wind me up and turn me on to come from a different angle, come from an angle that I would not have because I was playing nice. You know, if you want to mess with me, I can I can play mean to because all I was doing, I wasn't using, even using my words, but since you have attacked my program, I'm going to attack you now. I'm going to show you that the pen is mighter than the sword. You understand? So me, I'm telling you, you're going to get it from me now too. So I'm going to restart this program. I'm going to go back. I'm, I'm going to bring back in some people who I'd intended to bring in. Uh-huh. Um, let me see. Where's my thing? All right. So let me let me let me just restart this because I want this to be in this program. Let's go again. Move. Lisa Hanna has publicly declared her support for the recent salary increase afforded to parliamentarians. This despite the leader of the People's National Party, Mark Golding, calling for the increase to be rolled back. Hanna, who has previously called for an increased salary for members of parliament, says they were being paid at a rate less than the minimum wage in the United States. As Natalia Clark reports, she questions how people deem the increase excessive when many other sector leaders are being paid significantly more. In a surprising departure from her party stance, Lisa Hanna, the four-term member of parliament for Southeast St. Anne, has defended the recently granted salary increase for politicians and members of the political directorate, while other politicians in the People's National Party, PNP, demand a rollback. In her Jamaica Observer column, Hannah declares you get what you pay for, as she reasons the salary increase is not excessive. She further explains the increased salary for the Prime Minister represents only 0.0061% of the total salary budget, 0.1518% for members of parliament, and 0.0804% for cabinet ministers. Hannah having expressed empathy for those who oppose the increase, further notes, it's illogical for the leader of the country to earn only 9 million Jamaican dollars annually, when some lawyers and doctors earn over 120 million. She continues, striking a comparison with other leaders in the public sector, among them heads of the National Housing Trust, the Port Authority, and Hart NSTA Trust, who report to the Prime Minister. She notes, they all earn significantly higher salaries of 31 million, 30.9 million, and 17.6 million, respectively. Hannah, 
who has expressed her intentions to leave representational politics by the next general election, says the government has had the existing pay scale for over 37 years. She reasons, if the suggestion is to recall the pay increase for politicians, then the same will have to be done for all government workers of about 100,000. Standing firm in her position, Hannah explains, Rolling back the salary increase would result in the MP's salary being comparable to that of a high school principal, except the principal would also be eligible for allowances and set work hours, a luxury not afforded to politicians. She surmises, until the leaders in Jamaica are paid sufficiently, there will be no actual development and no increase in the per capita income of Jamaicans. Under the recent national compensation overhaul, other sectors also received a significant salary surge. Doctors received over 190% increase. Graduate teachers increased by 122% and nurses received a 180% increase. Natalia Clark, CVM Live. All right. Um, <laughs> so... So they, they, they tried a sabotage trick just now. And uh, uh, 14, that one there. They tried a sabotage trick right now. And um, of course, you know, after a while, you learn to fight back when they come, come with this nonsense. So, and I, as I said, this, this lady, she must be the golden calf because, because, um, um, because it seemed like she's an untouchable. But she jumped out after she was there fooling around and playing around when she should have confronted and attacked. She should have done a frontal attack on the saboteurs. She went and she joined with them. And then when she wasn't getting her way, because I know from, from feedback that I've gotten, they don't like her. And when we try to talk to her to say, let's, hear from you and see how best we can help. She, she, she shows very or little regard for anybody. And this is why she has been having such problems in her constituency, because she's playing a prima donna role. She's a little prima donna. And that's what she is, because she went out there. You live in a community. And we know that, that constituency is a tough one. People, they seem to have some kind of problem. Maybe especially so with 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 women, right? And they chased out a couple of women before Lisa Anna, and she went in there, and it didn't play well. You know, she was she did well to be honest with you, and she had a she had an attack coming from several angles within her own party, because the thing for them they wanted to sabotage her. She managed to do well and win by maybe what three votes, six no thirty something votes. Which people might say, "Hey, you, you didn't win by much," but she won and she was there, and she's having problems. But instead of going to people on the ground, she she probably thinks herself better than people, and so that's why she couldn't. She didn't see it fit for her, because once I tried to reach out to her and she said, "We our people are trying to do is to." get popularity by bringing her on our, whether it be a blog or, or your live or whatever you call it, she said that's how she felt about it. And to this day, nobody has been able to have a conversation with her. The people in the place where she was hanging out and think they would have been nice to her, they don't like her because I've heard it. So now these people should get up. She made this very strange and to me crazy proclamation to say that she agrees with it and tries to compare Jamaica, the, the Jamaican government, to people in high positions in private sector who are making millions of dollars for their investors. Government has been, the government of Jamaica has been bringing down, dragging down Jamaica for the last 60 years. The country is a mess. The country is a big ghetto, except for the little enclaves of, of, of where the rich people live and up they look clean and nice and well and tidy. But when you go below half a tree, everything is as I'm having that in below half a tree, you go, you, you, you go somewhere in, in wherever them call them walk you walk and, and all the other little lane lane them where them build up half of the place over in a in a in a in a 
up at the top of Redhill's Road, them have some place up the command, all them kind of it's crazy the way the place is, is, is going. It's not being built like some people would sense it. Look like it's some crazy people building this thing. Right? And and and, and then now she comes to say that they should be getting more money. They should be getting more money. And and the and the, the thing about and, and that the money that you're getting is not come you know, coming to it with what other the big compete countries are getting, our countries which are doing well. And we, you know, and we're just saying this is crazy. How can you, you know, she should have thought this thing through some more because it's not coming over well. So here we here comes now this gentleman who called himself the Maverick. The Maverick comes out and he said. He has made a statement, and I captured as much of the Maverick as much as possible. I, I like the Maverick, and he does his his um his, his his sports thing, and he has touched onto some regular you know hard news thing. And yeah, sometimes I I don't agree with him. I let him know, but this one he was brave enough to come out, and so I decided to carry the clips. And what has happened? They decided to attack. Opposition member of parliament Lisa Hanna should come out with what she thinks is a stout defense of the big salary increase for member of parliament and government ministers, etc. We have talked about an elaborate defense, you know. Not even a defense lawyer could have tried to defend the salary increase like all Lisa Veroni. It long, so we kind of just jot down some pointers or, you know, mentally jot down some pointers, you know, what she says, so we can recount it and summarize it basically. All right, first of all, she started as she's making what's a shell. She's a member of parliament from 2007. And then you now she went down to, she, she talked about fair salary, you know, and try to break down fair monthly salary, say, after all deductions, including the money when she paid her party and all of them something. She ended up with less than $300,000 a month. That's a fair story. And then she went on to speak about the, the percentage of the budget that this increase would have, would have require, you know, pointing out it's really a minuscule percent of the budget and blah, blah, blah. And then she went into what I think was her substantive defense of the whole thing, you know. Her thing is that other leaders, you know, this, you know the private and public sector are getting significantly more money than the government ruling class and, 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 the, and the political class. See? She pointed to some of them in, a, in, a, in, a, in a the government sector. She pointed to the CEO of the, the NHD, the National Housing Trust, and, and she named some other entities. She also pointed out doctors and lawyers, top doctors and lawyers, which is here earn hundreds of millions of dollars a year. She went again to talk about specifically the Barbados Prime Minister earning what was up like $16 million a year and Barbados is a little tops, a country compared to Jamaica. Population 200,000, blah, blah, blah. Them, and them are, are, are argumentative. But people, Lisa, just as Nigel and Andrew did initially. Let me say Andrew, me attack. Roji. <laughs> just as they tried to do and failed miserably to do. Their defense of the salary increase is feeble, insulting, aggressive. And where's we can use we say it again? Disrespectful of the Jamaican people and our intelligence. Because none of them, including Lisa with this latest trip now, Lisa is not able to posit any answer to the question of is this value for money? The money we're not given to sell is are the people of Jamaica getting value for that money? You know why they can't answer that? Because the answer for that is emphatically no. And they're so caught up in their own self-importance that they don't realize, you know. So the pushback when they get from Jamaicans from every walk of life on that issue here yeah, is because Jamaica knows that politicians have been a failure to this country. Yeah. We do not give them no value for the money we're not paying themselves. That is why they get pushed back, you know. And we don't know if they're in their bubble and they don't understand why they get the pushback. I don't know them just arrogant with it so they might give themselves it regardless it's one of the two things you know is either them daft to the facts that people don't rate them and don't rate them in fact there's nothing to rate about the political class that you make all them do is parade 
upon the backs of the Jamaican people from, the, from independence till now, you know. Yeah. So you see, now Maverick is a man, as he calls himself, Maverick. He's a man who does a sports thing and he br brings us a level of dramatics to the thing when he presents it. And it's very, you know, quite interesting and exciting when he does it. But this one, this topic with Lisa Hanna, seemed to have set him off in a way that he had to come at her like a bull in a china shop, as the saying goes. And, and to lay it out the way he sees it. Now, as we, can, we noticed earlier, to restart this program, and I want to ask people to please, those who have found it, please share, subscribe, like, and comment if you so wish. It doesn't matter with what type of comment you bring to it. You know, all comments to me are valued. And I welcome all comments. In fact, let me see one person saying what a, what a wicked woman. She is heartless. Uh, and this is somebody named Brad Spitz. Um, you see, it's not bringing any, it's not bringing her any friends. It's not bringing her any friends. And I, if that is what she considers to be what she wants to come to power with. Who is she serving? Who is she, whose interest is she serving? You look at the people in don't look, you look at downtown Kingston. I, I grew up in Kingston. Kingston is my stamping ground. I've never seen downtown Kingston look more awful than it looks today. And this after 60 years of having a so-called independence, which I know we don't have independence in Jamaica. And it has been highlighted. Now I tell you, God bless, or the universe bless, or whoever we worship and pray to, bless all of the people, no matter which color, shape, form them come, both big or small, the people from social media who have been pushing back to be, you know, bringing the spotlight, bringing the light, shining the light on some of these crazy people who said they want to run Jamaica. Because we have a governor general, as I talked about before, who is there working not for the Jamaican people? He, to me, he's a spy in Jamaica because he works for King Charles of England before he was working for Queen Elizabeth of England. No, he's working for Prince King Charles of England. And they, the worst insult that they have done, they have said to the poor Jamaican people, pay this lazy, these two lazy people to sit up in King's House every day, pay them $34 million. While the poor people have to be in the markets pushing the handcarts, pushing carts, still after 60 years, because they, they were not prepared for anything better. And the teachers, all the good teachers have left the country. And those who retired and those who want to come into it, they're not coming into it to stay. They're coming to, to, to get some experience so they can move on. Because these people, they don't have the interest of the people at heart. They don't have the country's interest at heart. You know how much their money they can have and which big cars they can drive and which big boots they can wear, how much pretty dress they can wear, how much fine suits they can wear for the men. That's all they're all about. It's who live up where, who live in the thing. You go up in the cherry garden, you see the one who live in the greenhouse. You see the one who live in the orange house. You see the one who live in some fancy mansions. While the poor people who are the sweat of, of sweat and blood, the ones who are giving to this country, Jamaica, their heart and their lives and their sweat and blood. And they are the ones who then have total no regard for and that's what the Maverick is talking about, to say that these people don't care about you. Who want to like it, like it. And, and, and as I say, who want to bite it, bite it. But the truth of, of the matter is the truth. You don't come to people and tell people that you should be getting more money. What get more money for what? What have you done to earn more money? What have you done? That's what the Maverick is saying. In fact, let me go to his second clip because, because of the disruption of last time here and I want to not to go too far over things. You're doing pretty good so far still because we, we had a, a 9.30 start back. So let me hit up on the Ma Maverick again. Run efficient and profitable organizations. Even one of them in the government sector, you know. The NSC is one of the most profitable cash-rich entity in a Jamaica, you know. Yeah? All right. Question now to Lisa. What commensurately 
What are the efficient services that the government offer to the people of Jamaica? Is Jamaica being run as a profitable country? Is Jamaica being run as an organized country? Are we secure in our communities and our homes? Do we have proper roads to drive on? Yeah. Do we have a proper healthcare system? When we sick and go to hospital and doctor, do we have proper bed to lay down upon and proper equipment and machinery to treat sick people in Jamaica? When we send we pick them to a government public school, are they being properly educated? Eh? Is them something that we are talking about Jamaica and look for and say, what the politicians deliver for Jamaica? Is all politicians who are Jamaica, you know? Is all who are Jamaica, you know? We're not supposed to talk about increase, you know? If we need to have a conscience, you know? Who no owe Jamaica? But me don't understand, though. It's like they're missing the principle of why people are pushed back at them. It, look here, you see when these people become member of parliament and they're in the United States. Let me tell you what, let me play the scenario that happen with them MP and them politicians. You see when them win them seat, you know, you know politics in Jamaica, very partisan in one, sharp divided in one, tribal in one. So when the MP for a particular constituency, when them claim that them go up on the ground and them go in at them constituency, you know, it's only the people who support them really come around them, you know. So they don't really hear, they get to hear the dissenting voices, you know. So they feel that because the people them around them are run up and down behind them and them fans, you know. And I tell them when they want to hear you are the greatest thing since sliced bread and yeah, yeah, yeah. Read Buto, back of all politics, you know. So them, in a for them mind, the perception is created that them people representative of everybody in them constituency. So the, so the dissenting voices, they're not hearing you know? them. So them in a for them mind, feel say the couple of people who run up and down around them and jump up and them around them and them buy them a drink and buy them a box food and them support them for life. Them fees say that is an those are indices at the level of approval where Jamaica people have the politician. Right. So you see, what what has happened to you know when you know as somebody says about these people, the people who follow these politicians and these politicians, the party especially like the People's National Party. It's not running like a party anymore. It's running like a cult. And then you have these people who follow them. They are cult worshipers. They become cult members. You, they drink the Kool-Aid. They can be destroyed at will. So even when you, you will have those who will want to attack me and attack the Maverick, and because I, when I heard the Maverick when him talking things, and his name is again Oral Tracy or something like that. When you when 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 he has presented and he's pouring out his feeling, he's not a, he's not about this cult business. He's about the reality the reality of what is happening. That the people are giving the worst service. These politicians, Jamaican politicians, are giving us the worst service. We have the worst prime minister right now. Well, what is worse? We have the worst opposition leader we, we don't have an opposition party right now we don't have an opposition leader right now everybody's afraid to challenge this this person trying to challenge they refuse to challenge him because it's a cult it's not a party it's a cult if it was a real party he would have been challenged a long time ago over and over and over he would have been challenged and he would have been long gone but as i know the cult the rule of the cult is that you don't challenge the party um, president if there is no, if he's there and there is no election. No, what I'm saying, I'm hoping that somebody, one of the young people in the party who don't play to this nonsense would just see it fit. If you watch what is going on in America, Donald Trump is a leader of the party, of the Republican party. But what does that know? You have some people who are seeing it differently and they're saying, you know what? We're not going to let him just go and run and challenge. They are challenging him. And, if you, and before long, you might see people start challenging Joe Biden as well as he's doing. Nothing. You should be challenged. That's democracy. It's not a cult. It's democracy. And we need to see democracy back in the Jamaican politics. 
this thing of you, somebody choose somebody and put them there and say, that is your, pres your, your prime minister, your president. It's nonsense. Because right now we are looking at, in a system which we've, we have been fooling ourselves for 62 years, was it? No, well, yeah, most about 62 years or whatever the thing is, that we have in 61 years, I think, we, that we are, we are uh, a, 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 a cult, we are, a, we are a, 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 an independent country. We are not. We are not a sovereign country, independent, sovereign com country, and the people living in the thing are the sovereigns of the country. We are the subject, we are the, the, the subject of His Majesty King Charles of England because he has his representative in Jamaica watching, reporting back to England that we're not doing well, or this one is not doing what he should be doing, or she should be doing, are they doing too much, are they progressing too much? He's reporting back, he has to report to, to the, back to King Charles. He's not just there. And what is worse, he's working for King Charles, but they said the Jamaican poor people must pay him 40, $34 million a year for what? So now you have this lady who everybody was counting on to say, you're going to come, you can be our, the person who's going to step in for us as our black knight or white knight or some kind of knight. You're going to come in and step in for us. And you, you, you come and you tell, you tell the people, who, the people been bawling for like over two weeks now, bawling out and say, no, it's wrong with that everybody and you get up and you say no you think you're deserving of it what are you talking about are you crazy did you hit your head this the night before you don't fall off of the bed and hit your head what the hell is that and that is let me give some more Margaret because we're kind of late and I have to play all of these clips and then I'll pick them up. people in Jamaica the neutral people in Jamaica we're not die hard this or die hard that's our only die hard Jamaica we don't real politicians that's why we are born out a salary increase. Yeah. We don't should get a dollar on the old way. Come talk about your look on the CEO and the, the new research and money. What is the commensurate job with the politician that perform? Where you can look on the new research and money. I say, oh, the new research on the I get $100 million a year. And the Prime Minister I get that. Eh? When, the new, when you're going to the, 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 the new research and surgery, and you, you have something with your spinal cord and you fix it, you get up and walk. That is what you call value of the money. Where the value, where the politicians them have give the suffering Jamaica people for their money. Me never mention the optics of, of what they're doing now. They mean, it, just the optics of so many suffering bang belly people in Jamaica. And the, the ruling political class who are fat up for them bank book and them salary. The optics are that wrong. <laughs> See? So... Maverick could have been just like what some people want. This cultish, cultish behavior where we know that these people are not doing right by the people of the country. They're not doing right by the country. Because did she cry out when the teachers had to settle for like, what, 10%, 2,000 extra dollars? Did she cry out? Did she cry out when the nurses had to settle for the $2,000, when the police officers had to settle for the two the, 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 the two thousand dollars when the nurses had to settle for the two thousand dollars when when doctors had to settle for little and nothing did she cry out for them to say no we have to do better because a person in america a doctor in america is earning two three hundred thousand dollars a year us multiply that by the 155 you see how much how much big money they're earning what you're going to tell us for the politicians who have been doing the worst job since Michael Mandel left politics, the worst set of politicians we have come upon. They're not fighting for people anymore. They don't care about people. They care about fat in their pockets. How much they can get, how much brown envelope they can get. How much cut back, kick back they can get. How much they can serve the massa in some other place and 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 take from the Jamaican people. And when you come now, you didn't come up, if you're, if, you're a, a, if you're a thinking person, you would have come out and say, you know what? Everybody, we need to really re-examine the salaries of everybody and see how we can bring people to have a 
living wage, you know, a living wage where they can live off, a wage that they can, that everybody, the lowest, a minimum wage of that people can live off. But this cultish behavior to say that we're going to follow some cult and say, no, we don't care about the people, we care only about ourselves. We are the ones who are doing the work. Doing what work? Have you, when last have you, well, is it you just drive from your home to parliament and you don't care about what you're seeing? You put on blinders? You know, let me see who this is. Somebody look at the one that joined the conversation. Um, who, who do I have the pleasure of bringing in this evening? Boy, Mr. Perkins, I'm Peter from Queens. You know. Peter, uh, God, God bless your heart, man. Because I'm telling you, it, it, you know, and you know, I was kind of, I was going in a sort of little different direction this year. I was being, I was being, you know, trying to play cool, play nice, and then they attacked my program, jacked up the program, I had to restart it. But you know what? It didn't change anything because I will have two programs out there anyway. It's not going to think. I'm, I'm going to say the same thing, and I'm now what you have done is just woken up the. The, the 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 lion that, that because as a Leo, which next month is my time, my birth month coming up, the the lion month, Celestia and everybody, will them wake up the lion, and and I'm and I have to just let loose now. So what you got to say, Peter? Because you know this is crazy. Talk to me, Mister Mister Perkins. I mean, when you have General Hartley that said he might go roll back field salary. Um, and but take it to a twenty percent increase, and normally make more money than the crime minister. When you have Lisa Hannah out there defend this nonsense, all I have to say for the both of them is you don't. Is <laughs> you don't. <laughs> That's how we have Mister Perkins because they fully don't. Sitting at the back of the class. Sitting at the back of the class. No you subject. Is you don't <laughs> maybe they will understand that, you know what I'm saying? Because if it is framed the right way, they probably won't even understand it. Because that what you're presenting right now. I mean, how could Lisa? I mean, the people are clamoring for Lisa Anna. Who advised her to make such a stupid statement? Who the, the CM, the CM don't people and Mr. Perkins. I run with General Harvey that I tell him what he must run out of parliament if he pass the pick up. And you see him dunce people and like Mr. Perkins. He's a fully dunce mob. A, he's, a, he's a bunch of cultists, member them. Crazy. All I can hope for is that we could, if we could find somebody in that party with the guts, whether you win, lose, or draw, to just well, turn on the light and Present it's, it's, a it's, it's, challenge. It's, it's, Mr. Perkins, you didn't give them a solution Sunday now. You said, listen, have a vote. Put some name in our own bag and pull out the bag. You didn't even put some cat in the bag. Pull them out. Yeah. Because we can't take them pull it on people around the party no more. Is that called I know one party? Is that called Mr. Perkins? And the only way I think Lisa could revert we 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 um reset it for herself. And to, to make people start looking at her again in a positive light, is that she should put, get involved in that and put her name in that bag and get some of the draught. And whether she gets it or somebody else gets it, she just destroyed her chances. Because this journal of that is not going anywhere. This massa mark is not going anywhere. And, and they're still hanging on to him to have gone out there and to say that. Oh, we're not getting enough money, so we want the money because you want to say that's what you are gonna you're using to separate yourself from the general affi that you made yourself a bigger, whatever is general, most of the president is, is higher than the general. You made yourself the president of the affiliates by going out and go say the money you're getting, politicians not getting enough money. You know, it's yeah, it might be true they're not getting enough money, but to have gotten 302 to 300% increase when all the regular valued workers, all they're getting is $2,000? But Mr. Perkins, the market say it best. Them not get, no, them not, them, them not get money for no value. They not provide no Nothing. Value. The place is worse. I'm telling you, you are, I think 
I think I might have heard you said it before that you you were from Kingston too. You know, from Kingston. Be careful, I say Kingston too. From Kingston, you know what Kingston looked like in the early days. Long before we have even say all of the streets paved with asphalt today. But you never it was never so dirty. It was never so so ramshackle, so rough. When you have when you have the bus system, the, the what was it called Jolly Joseph bus system, it ran on time, it ran in, in, in a decent way. People could go on it and sit and be taken from point A to point B from home to work. This is what they have now, this ramshackle system, and this is what politicians have given to us. And she's going to tell us we must pay them more for doing worse. What is that? Must pay them more for doing less. That's what they must yeah. say. They want more for less. For less. But Mr. Perkins, look for the nonsense. They must go after the integrity commission, the crime minister. No opposition to go stop the car. They must, they must do the same thing too. Yeah. Because they are being of, they are being offended and they want to get rid of the integrity commission because they're getting in the way. They're standing in their way. That's how they see the integrity commission. And and I don't think they can really because that 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 group that organization was it's an act of um, the, the parliament that put that together. And even though they all can vote and, and agree and say let's get rid of them, but I'm telling them the Jamaican people are watching. They are watching, and I'm seeing more and more angry people coming out of Jamaica. I'm seeing more and more angry actions being taken in Jamaica. Some of it I'm quite worried for them. You know, because people are becoming more and more angry. And I don't think Lisa, Lisa would have, would have been the one, I think Lisa could have been the one who could have gone out there if she had just opened up and said, you know what, I'm going to present myself because I don't, I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. She would have been far better off. She would have been hated by some people. But right now she has one more enemies and people who just, just don't want to have anything with, with, with what she's offering. So, so I don't think she has done herself in, in any in, any. She has not won any brownie points this time around, because I don't know what did she did she drink something strange? Why she got up with that kind of thought in her head that she thinks that politicians should be getting more money, and they should be getting money to equate with. Britain and 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 Barbados, Barbados, uh, you know, them have a, them have a per capita income of I think what fourteen thousand that US dollars. I think Jamaicans is five five thousand. So what are they talking about? Well, Mr. Perkins, then General Harvey that said he want more pay, and them have, them have put up um get on next to Norfolk. Yeah, right? and then look at that. Said, that he is a capture, you know. He not fit in capture house, in capture land, in capture car, in capture everything. Yeah. He love, he love the capture, he love the capture people, and he love the capture land. I know he did he want more, more peer for more people to capture more land. Yeah. And capture more people house. And up to and, now, up to now, um, what's his name? Back to it from the the you know the the um whole mess. Back away from the thing. From them taking the money. He said, I'm not taking that money. Granted, him never said how long I'm not going to take the money for. And the 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 uh, general after that him take the money and said, No, I'm gonna take only 20%. No, him realized as he realized that he you know he 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 now will be earning more than the prime minister. So he has left the prime minister to continue the stuff. Oh crap. Um, I have to get this fast. Oof. My um, thing here is not plugged in. Uh, right, so sorry about that. Oh, this is I think my thing here. Oh shit. Where is it? Oh, I know what my it's plugged out here. Sorry, my um computer is plugged out. All right. I was just getting ready to shut down. <laughs> anyway, so, so so that is that is what I'm saying now. We we here we are end up in this position. Let me just stop again and just say quickly. Um, I want to thank everybody for who have joined on, who some people who have lost the link. Hopefully, you know, when it's it's out there on YouTube, some people will see it and continue to watch it. I'll continue to share it as much as possible. 
because we got set back. I didn't get a chance to go back and go reset anything. I didn't want to flood people's um, e box inboxes with a, too much of the same thing. So um, I just want to thank those who came on. But to, you know, as we continue to think, if you wish to make a comment, I'll be happy to read your comments. And um, hopefully, you know, we will um, reach as many people. It's not the most popular subject this evening. I didn't even mean to have gone off the way I went off. But when they try to, you know, um, disrupt my program, then have to have to defend myself. Because all I was doing is using Maverick. The Maverick thing is out there already. Uh, and I want to say to Maverick, I hope you don't mind that I use it. You get full credit for it. You saw your name is out, your face is out there. I didn't try to copy or cheat, steal anything. I just use it because it made sense what you did and to help to let people see that they are, if they're thinking that, is this woman crazy? He will help them to say, it's not me alone. That I that think what she did was kind of off the wall, you know, not a very smart thing. And um, it has not done her any good. Um, what she has done is this gotten fallen in line with this cultist behavior uh, and think people should just fall in line and say what she's saying is cute. It's not cute. Because the word of the day, you know, when we have the boy, you know, the teacher himself said the word of the day. And the word of the day, you know, is you don't. <laughs> That's not the word of the day. Is you don't. So, master to the Jamaican people. Is you don't. So, fall in the manner. Is you done so making them ride it like donkey? Is you done so making them politicians just rule your country and talk about them again to three hundred percent increase? I ain't not seen a three hundred percent improvement in your life. Yeah. Is you done so allowing the money to come out and commit all them crime and punishment? And then put them out no benefit from nothing. Is you done accepting the system the way it is? Because me tell you, say, Jamaica is not a real country, Mr. Burton. It's a net bit production with a do semina ending. Why? And the people of Jamaica is you done so accepting that kind of big movie there? It, <clears throat> just, it just, it's mind boggling, tell you the truth. Mind boggling. And people, um, people are, you know, a lot of people are angry and they didn't know how to respond to it because they can't believe it their beloved Lisa, who came out almost like a betrayal to them to say they were complaining. And here it is. She had to think she's better than them, that she's above them, that, you know, nobody was going to question her because it's Lisa speaking. So Lisa is um, can say whatever she wants, you know, and, 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 and it should be okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's it's you you went against the people. You went against the people, the very people you say you want to represent. You went against them. You we betrayed them. You know, yeah. we, 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 let me tell you something. You have a whole lot of people in Jamaica, them be programming them be programming themselves from the cool yeah. idiot. Yeah. Them now follow no half idiot and no beauty queen. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that and that that that's where that is, you know. They 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 people not falling for it. They're not falling for the nonsense, you know. And um, we just we just want to um, say to people again, thanks for coming on, thanks for joining. Sorry about the disruption. I hope you can find it back somewhere. The rest of it somewhere. Um, I don't know, Peter. Did you see this 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 um this sun earlier today? Um, what? And uh, you know they say that today's um show of you know how, how nature deals with these things. Um they say it's gonna be happening more often because this this the smoke that we are we saw today. Uh, because you live in Queens and I live out on the island, or I'm, I'm on the island at this time. Um, we, you know, we we see, we saw it, but most of the world didn't see it. But this smoke that came, it came from all the way up in Canada and came down into New York, into Philadelphia. 
And, and this is what we have been experiencing. In fact, today was much cooler and seasonably cooler because the thing blocked out the sun. The sun could not come through. And that is why it, it, it ended up with that hazy look, that, that red look. Because the, the, the whole um, inter, uh, interaction between um, the smoke particles and, and the, the refraction, with the whole thing of physics about refraction, light. And so it, it resulted in this um, red, red sun. In fact, the, the pretty much all the day where I was, it kind of had this orangish um, hue or glow, very faint glow, sometimes orange, sometimes yellowish glow. And, um, I, and as I said, on the background of this, of this picture, as I can explain the best, the background of this picture is um, showing black, but that's only from because the way we have to set the camera to get to get they the capture the actual color of the sun, and it, it resulted in this black background. But the sun, the color you see in there, that's how the sun looked um, when we saw it. Uh, I, you know why we took the picture because it was just so unusual. And um, let me see if anybody has said made any comments in this. Not not so far. I, I think a lot of people are not going to be, you know happy with me for taking on the golden calf, what I call the golden calf, because some people in this the whole cultish, cultish um, behavior and the way they're not going to want to see anything wrong with, you know, what, with what this lady did. They're going to think, oh, she is Lisa said, so it's, it's true. It's right. It's true. It's good. Anything Lisa says, you know, but the whole thing is, is just nonsense. She, Whoever advised her, if somebody advised her to do this, they set her up. If she came up with this on her own, this is not good. And she has to find a way to apologize to the Jamaican people to say, look, I think I, I, I wasn't thinking right or I misunderstood or something. Find some good, nice excuse. Otherwise, I think that's not going to be good for you if you think you're going to come back and present yourself as a thing. Because people are looking for something other than Andrew, you know, Kanjo. They're looking for they're looking for an alternative. They're not going to look for a conjure light. You understand? They're not going to look for a conjure whole mess light. They might as well stay with conjure. So if you're thinking that's going to get you anywhere, it's not going to get you anywhere, you know? And it's not going to elevate you to anything. This has now left the door open for some other people, like the, the Damian Crawfords, the Philip Baldwells, the, 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 the Raymond Price. You know, and anybody else, because people are going to say, no, we can't go for Lisa, because Lisa sold us out. She came out and she justified it for 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 bro for bro 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 G or bro bro whatever in name. You know, he, he, she Just sold out. Just call him the crime minister, Mr. Perkins. Just call him the crime minister. He might be crime. And as and as you Perkins. say, the crime minister. Yeah. And and it is really sad that today we 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 just lost one person, which people are having some kind of hope to say this person could be the um the the person who comes and delivers them, but it has to be somebody else because if, unless she comes and apologizes or take that back or say you know I think I spoke wrong I misspoke or do one of the politician type of you know, explanation, an explanation which makes very little sense, but sometimes I can get away with it. But it's not going to work too well if you think you are going to come and leave that without fixing it, without cleaning it up. It's not going to work. And then for the ones who think and don't think much of me because I took on the golden calf, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, I have to speak the truth when the truth, you know, I'm faced with the, the, the truth. And, and, and somebody is trying to make a, a liar true. And I'm not a part of the cult. I'm not a part. I don't want to be a part of the cult. What we want, we're looking for strong leaders. We're looking for a leader with, 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 with some kind of strength of character. You know, I've been hearing her saying some things of late, you know, for a little while now. When she talks about people should stop producing this kind of food. Farmers should still... So she's saying, stop producing food and import the food. 
And 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 the whole thing is hope I'm not disturbing anybody. Um we are we are we are we are um I think I'm gonna pull this 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 live down because it might be creating a problem somewhere. So um you know what? Peter, thank you for joining me. Um, Mr. Burke, all I have to say before we go is I hope people can subscribe, um, share, like, and also keep watching and hearing your program. And I'm going to have one thing to say to Jamaican people. Is you don't. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not even going to repeat that to the because Jamaican people are smart people and they know when you're when you're using some some stuff and you know in the you know that grammar is off with me and I'm not going but, but I understand what you're doing I say because you know the, you know we know the kind of people who use that kind of language and that's what you're making trying to make comedy comedy of it but um be careful you, you could be listening to some children could get on here and it might be misled so anyway thank you let me see somebody is um Grace. I don't think Grace want to join this. Uh, okay, I don't think she wants to join. She might be calling me for something else. So let me end this live. Thank everybody for joining. Um, and let me see you the next time around. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. And I we launched it, lost some people, but I hopefully they will find it along the way. Talk soon. Have a good night. <laughs>